Okay, so welcome to uh, Visual Subsync tutorial, basic tutorial. So um, once you've imported your film, your, your, uh, I mean extracted the audio um, file, you have this uh, audio wave thing green here. What I do first is I zoom in five times to get the right the right sort of size. One, two, three four, five. Okay, now you have all the audio elements neatly separated in little patches. So what you do then is, uh, let me go somewhere. Let's hear Fritz Lang talking. For example, what you, you can do from there is simply left click and play. So you can select, uh, this is Godard speaking, so you can select this bit here. And then you right click and you s select add a subtitle and then you j just type what the guy says. Uh, and then you move on to the next. You have a blue, a blue thing here that you can move uh, left and right to move along. So select the right next one. Comment est-ce qu'on doit définir euh, qu'est-ce que c'est qu'un homme Ok, you can move on. And then you select uh, basically uh, the length of the passages you want, like this. Est-ce que c'est un travailleur, un artiste, enfin... Si, like that. Tu veux dire qu'est-ce que c'est qu'un homme Ok, and, uh, and, and so on. It's really simple. It's really, that's all I do. I don't resync my subs or anything. Le nom d'un artiste, qu'est-ce que c'est un homme Okay, here, add subtitle. What is an artist? There you go. I think that's pretty much it. Um, don't go over five second subtitles, that's too long. And lines no longer than 40 characters each. That's it.